Oh, me and Chris want to live here. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's perfect down here. Perfect right here in this little area. He's saying this. They're saying in the facility they oh, want to yeah. live here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Live no, right here on this couch. I did there. just see something out there. It said mandatory weigh in at eight a.m. That yeah. that wouldn't feel good for me. But. <laughs> Wouldn't love to do that every morning. It's just to make sure that we're good in regards to you know practice and everything like that. Because once you get out of practice, they want to see how many how many pounds you lost because of the heat. So you know, how much do you have to eat to not lose a bunch of weight in this heat? Uh, It's not so much about eating. It's about uh, the fluids. So like per every pound you lose, you have to drink you know a certain amount of water to get gain that poundage back. So. (laughs) <laughs> no thanks. You have to have some fluids in you, man. We should have a way in at the studio that's, every that's morning. <laughs> we are here with Stu Gatz's friend Raheem Mostert, I think neighbor and surprisingly number one Florida Panthers fan, Raheem Mostert. Yes. Yes. I don't know in the parade. What were yes. you doing in the parade? You were in the parade. What did you what get in the parade? I'll tell you what. I got I got really good at, at connecting with a few people, and um, yeah, it was awesome. We I tried to get in that parade. Y'all should hit me up. Y'all should. <laughs> we would have got y'all for sure. <laughs> no, it was awesome, though. I'm, you know, shout out to the Panthers and, and everything they did this past year. Uh, it was definitely memorable. Um, I've been a Panthers fan for about like 11 years. So, did you touch uh, the cup? I did. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, fine. It was, it was a lot of fun. Different sports. So, it's fine. That's, that's the I'm thing. Just saying that, My know. wife was freaking out. Yeah. She was like, Raheem, you cannot touch that yeah. trophy. I was like, why? She was like, um, well, do you know that there's a curse if yeah. you don't win it? Like, I'm if like, you haven't won it yet, you can't touch did it. Did your wife know you don't play hockey? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I told her. I was like, babe, it, yeah, we're okay. We're good. So, I mean, I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 11 years you've been a Panthers fan? I have, yeah. Because? How? So my agent, Brett Tesler, he stays in, in uh, Parkland Golf as well. Um, and he brought me to my first ever game. And ever since then, I was just, I mean, I've always been around hockey a little bit, you know, even from the uh, Tampa team. Um, and yeah, That's I just, good. we don't say their name. I yeah, appreciate no, no, that. No, yeah. no hey, just Tampa team. That's it. Um, but yeah, Panther fan, man. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, ever, ever since then, I've just been locked in with the Panthers. So. It's been pretty cool to see you find a home here. The idea that you had 18 touchdowns last year. I was offended on your behalf that the running back position has been devalued so much yeah. that there wasn't everybody throwing all sorts of money at you this offseason. Because anytime a, a person has had 18 touchdowns in my lifetime, yeah. that person breaks the bank yeah. when they get to the bank. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's a, it's a little it's a little discouraging, um, but, you know, I'm. I'm an older guy now. Um, you know, they, they want to put the, the age tag on me, which is unfortunate, you know, especially what I've done. You know, I'm, I was 31 last year and, you know, being able to run with, you know, 21 year olds and, and, you know, just doing what I did, I, I go out there and just play. And, um, hopefully, you know, that changes in the, in the near future with the running back market, but it takes the younger guys to make that happen, but older guys have to step up as well. So. Where along the path in your career would it have seemed most likely to you or probable that you would make a Pro Bowl and have 18 touchdowns? Man, honestly, um, I would have to say, you know, a younger version would have to be year seven, eight. I felt like that was like the per- perfect time for me. But, you know, I didn't take advantage of the opportunities. I, at least I tried to. But, um, you know, just things were falling out, um, injuries and all that good stuff. So I'm, I'm just happy that I'm able to do what I've done, you know, at the, at the time that I did, you know, last year. So there can't be another story like that in NFL history waved six times. 18 touchdowns in a Pro Bowl. Yeah. Like, also should have won or could have won a Super Bowl MVP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if we would have gotten the ball. Yeah. You know, the, running, <laughs> the, running, the running game for that game against the Chiefs in 2019, um, that was... That was, it was keyed up and dialed for us to win it. And, you know, we just strayed away from the, the, the run game. And, you know, we, we, we would have been Super Bowl champs for sure. You don't get to surf here at all, right? Mm-mm. There's no such thing just as the internet. you being able to. Who would surf here with to, the sharks? I mean, come well, on. Well, no, but I mean, he's used to waves. He's yeah, used to yeah. sizable waves and he, he loves the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, every year I feel like I'm always taking a trip to Hawaii, so I get my like you know surf fix there. Um, this past off season, I went to Hawaii to support Tua and his foundation. He had a golfing event and he had his football camp, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't make the camp because I had my own down in in um, 
South Miami, but um, went out there for the week. We left was Sunday, Sunday night, got in Monday morning. Um, and yeah, we were just me and my family hanging out. Um, and we had a couple of days of, of surfing. So it was fun. What was the uh, free agent process for you like uh, coming off of that kind of season? Um, at, at the beginning, it was a little slow. Um, and then things started ramping up, starting, you know, getting some talks just because I was still under contract with the Dolphins. But, um, you know, my second year, my last year wasn't guaranteed, uh, which would have made this year wasn't guaranteed. So then um, just, you know, went back to the table, started talking and uh, we felt like it was, you know, a deal that you couldn't refuse. So. Uh, but it was uh, disappointing to you, uh, not necessarily to come back here, it, but to to not have that season rewarded the way that I would have imagined at any time in a running back's lifespan, they yeah. would have been rewarded. Yeah, I mean, you know, then again, it happened to be the market, right? Um, everything is the market value, whatever the the market sets. It's it's on, you know, those those positions to to value um to be valued in a way that you know makes sense but unfortunately like you you mentioned earlier it's the it's the running back market you know especially given my age too so yeah i'm i'm 32 now but you're i feel like you're not an old man no nah, i'm not given an old my man. age you just had 18 man. touchdowns yeah. you're not an yeah. old man wait, wait, does that bother you the running back market just the way that position is treated cuz growing up Dan and I watching the like, game at smith those guys they got the ball yeah, and they got yeah. paid, man. Yeah, no, nah, um, you know, I, I feel like it's definitely changed these past couple of years and it's unfortunate, but, you know, that's just the, it's in, in time it'll get back up. I feel like it'll be more valued, you know, once the younger guys start to realize, hey, you know, I don't have to be, we don't run the ball like that, you know, back right. then. And, and guys are getting, you know, they were getting hurt at some point running the ball, you know, 20 plus times, but now, it's such a passing league. These these running backs that are in, like you know, I I talk to Devon all the time, and I'm telling him, hey, you know, you catch the ball out of the backfield. That's that's what's gonna help your right. case, you know, especially when it comes down to you know those contract talks. So he's he's taking it well, running routes. You know, we're all running routes, and, and I'm happy to see that that type of progression right now for him. What's that running running back room like right now? Because it's a year in there. We haven't come off the season it's you fast. did. Devon <laughs> A. Chan coming yeah. off a, a season where he broke out. They draft Jalen Wright. Mm -hmm. So it's just like there's a balance between being teammates and competing with each other. Yeah, you know, um, I think the biggest thing in, in our coach, uh, Eric Stoosville, he does an unbelievable job in making it feel like it's more so a brotherhood. Um, and, and, and lifelong friends, you know, that's, that's the most important thing. Cause you know, in this NFL world, man, it's any given day, yeah. you know, you could, you could have the best game of your life and you could be on the, the highest of highs and then something major can happen and then it turns into the lowest of lows. But, you know, you have to have your brothers that's, that's right there behind you. And I feel like with our running back room, we are the best running back room in the league. There's no doubt about it. You know, there's, there's other guys that want to compete and say, you know, well, you know, so-and-so has this title. But if you go down the line of all the backs that are in our room specifically, each and every one, even even our younger guys, each and every one has made some type of impact in this league or will make an impact in this league um, when their time comes. So I just feel like this room is just tailored to what we do as a group and as individuals, too. Do you know where you're ranked in the NFL's top 100 players? Have you seen where you're ranked? Yeah, I did. What's um, the number? 60. Yeah. How are we feeling about that? Uh, that was too high. I felt like, especially what I did last year. Too low. Or too low. Too yeah, low. Too low. It was right? bullshit. I'll well, say it. It's technically high like up that. if you go yeah. by numbers. Yeah. It is high. Yes. Yes. It, yes but you, you weren't, here. you thought it should have been a better ranking. Yeah, better ranking. Just, you know, I, I broke you know, a 40 year old record that hasn't been touched in 40 years. And, you know, um, to be able to break Ricky Williams record. And, you know, I looked up to Ricky when, when I was a little kid coming from, you know, um, in Florida and stuff like that. So to be able to break his record, that meant so much more to me, um, than, than Mark's record. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. It just gives me more motivation this year. So who was the running back on the list higher than you that you were like, what the, uh, well, I was going say with this. There was probably a couple. No, nah, it was. Uh, What's this guy doing up here? It's Christian, obviously, he's. I think he's just a, a hell of a bad. You were guy. good with that. You were yeah, fine with that. Fine with that. He deserves it. You're rolling down the list. You're like, what the hell is he doing? He had 14 here? touchdowns. So you had 18. He had 14. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we tied 21 touchdowns total. So I, I couldn't. That's right. Even, and he led the league in in rushing. So you know, I, I talked to him all the time. We we bullshit with each other and stuff like that. And it's it's fun. So, um. 
And then Derrick Henry, I feel like that's also another, you know, he okay. that's you're good with those. Well, two. I'm good with those. But guys. who's the guy you're not good yeah, with? Come on, let's go. Uh, uh, the rest. It sounds like the yeah. rest. Oh, I don't know yeah. who's there. There has to be a name. I don't really. know. I don't know who else. Who's is in there. the fifties? Kirsten, look that up for me. Yeah, I need. <laughs> we need to figure that out because you know, I I just see it as I'm the, the 60, 60th best player. You know, after what I did, I felt like I should have been lower. You know, in regards to that, higher, but higher, higher, yes. higher yes. Lower. Like we, we all know what we, we, we all know what we better than sixty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> lower, but yeah. higher. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I'm just, I'm just happy and blessed, honestly, to make the list for the first time, and you know, it can only go up from here. That's how I see it. I know you, uh, you keep in touch with all the guys in San Francisco. You keep an eye on what's going on there. Mm-hmm. You love that organization. Mm-hmm. What do you make of what's going on with Ayuk right now? Um, you know, I. First and foremost, I don't know what's been going on with IU um, and his contract, but, you know, I, I do definitely think he deserves whatever comes his way because he's he's always stayed quiet. He's never been, you know, the most outspoken one unless it's involved, you know, um, his contract issues and stuff like that. Um, and he's he's a hell of a player. I mean, the guy goes out there, he doesn't say anything. He goes and gets his yards and does what he needs to do. Um, I watched him when he was a rookie um, and, and talking with him when he was a rookie and, and just to see the growth, man, I just want nothing but the best for him because he definitely deserves it. Has money changed to a? No, 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 no. Money hasn't changed to What was he doing with the mic, though? Like, why did he grab the mic? Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. No, that was actually, like, you know, I felt like that at that moment for him, it was definitely, you know, <laughs> It's something that he cherished um, <laughs> because, you know, he, he didn't he's not a guy that talks a lot. You know, he, he's humble. He's the most humble human being you'll ever meet. You know, he he doesn't talk about what he has. He doesn't talk about all the all the fame and glory he's had. You know, he's just always wanting to work and get the people around him better. And for him to, you know, have that statement, uh, show me the money. <laughs> you know, we joke around. Me and T. Stead joke around <laughs> with him right now, right? Um, and and it's just all fun, man. It's just happy to see that, you know, especially what he's been going through. What's the confidence level with a guy like Tua when, you know, you have the criticisms out there of, you know, maybe not as accurate outside the pocket, cold weather, we haven't seen him do it, like, in the locker room. Are we confident that he can get over all those hurdles that people put out there? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you've seen what he's done, you know, in college and dealing with, you know, Alabama, his hip injury, right, coming back from that, um, and and then being drafted here by a coach that really didn't want him, um, and, and then going – through that whole process to looking, you know, we get here first year with McDaniel and he has a stellar career and it's just been going up and up, you know, and his leadership is just unmatched. So this guy comes in and he wants everybody around him to get better. And that's something that you need. Um, and, and also he, he takes pride in, in his, his lack thereof of, of all the skeptic, you know, the skeptical Honestly, things. Yeah. Right. Um, and he just wants to get better each and every day and you can see it. Many years ago, uh, Zach Thomas talked about, I wouldn't fight Tim Bowens if I was the only one who had a gun. Uh, Jason Taylor said one time he threw a Coke can at Larry Chester and ran away because he was afraid of Larry (laughs) Chester. And one time, Daryl Gardner, or no, I think it was Tim Bowens and Mean Joe Green got Mm. into it on the sideline and everybody was afraid. Who's the dolphin in the locker room that everybody's just a little bit afraid of? Uh, I mean, it's it's hard because, (laughs) I mean... Well, you got Calais Campbell in that bad boy. He's, <laughs> that voice. He's six, oh, yeah. six, eight. And, you know, that's a grown man status right there. <laughs> you know, he's played 17 years in the league. I tell him that he's 44, you know, bust his chops a little bit. But when he speaks, you know, it has some validity. You know, that man, that, that man speaks from the heart and he speaks true. And, and you could tell that that's, that, that guy's, he's about the right stuff. And that's something I, I, I line up with him. And if he has a problem with somebody, I'm 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 backing him up. But he's a friendly monster. Yeah. He's friendly. Yeah, but he's hiding behind. But you should see him on the field. You, <laughs> yeah. you, you see him I, when we break in the huddle, and you see a six eight giant on the other side of the ball. <laughs> you 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 you're like okay, yep. <laughs> you notice that? These, I'm going to zip these up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Last question before we get you out of here. I don't think it's terribly insulting to be the sixtieth best football player in the world. Is there another list that's more insulting that you've seen? Because I know you track this stuff. You still you have the list of all the teams that have waived you. Yeah. You don't like that very much. Raheem, there's a top fifteen list out of, uh, right now. Uh, top fifteen running backs, and I don't know who put out the list, but you're not on that list. I'm not. I'm yeah. You, I, you know that, right? Yeah. I, <laughs> I think it's about time for me to come out and say that 
because whoever's making those damn lists is definitely they don't know their stuff. Mm-hmm. That's right. Listen yeah. to the man. Yeah. That's right. it, just yep. because you know, if if I'm not even a top fifteen back, and I was a top ten rusher last year, I mean, come on now. What are we doing? Yeah. Like, what are, mm-hmm. what are know, we doing? Yeah, yeah you, you got guys on the list that. Mm-hmm. You know, no offense. I think that every back in the league is, you know, superior and dominant in their in their own perspective ways. Mm-hmm. But, you know, for me, I feel like, you know, I, I should be in the top ten. Um, I deserve to be in the top ten. But, you know, that's that's always fuel, and there's always this year to get even better. So let's go. You nailed the dismount, sir. Thank you for being on with us. Thank Your you, neighbors it. with Stugatz, have you yet met him at his clubhouse? He's promised to spend time with you. He I'm tends wait, to be a I'm, bit I'm of a phony. No, that's You're not waiting. fair, man. You're going to do that to me. We spent time, spend time with your wife and your kids. We're out yeah, of the rain. You man. did. You did. We Actually, you <laughs> know I, what? We we spent plenty of time on the on the chipping greens. <laughs> um, you know, he my kids were trying to steal a couple of his golf balls. Yeah. Um, and, I was trying to steal theirs. So. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but, you know, it was, it was definitely a good time. But yeah, I did stand you up at the bar one time. I did. Yeah, I did don't, we ain't going to talk about it. Okay, talk. No, I believe that. He's the king of that. <laughs> I one. just left him sitting there. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like you. How do you assess? Is Stugat's game good? Golf game? How is it? You know what? He's... You he, don't have to be nice. No, no, no. Honestly, I, I saw I saw potential. Okay. <laughs> 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 I saw potential. I'm always pitching on the green right from his house. Yeah, always. he's always pitching on the green. So, yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, man, I just want to say thank you guys. You know, I, I think that your guys' show is awesome. I'm more than honored to be on anytime. Y'all just let me know. Stu, you already know. So um, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.